Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is not a paleo video, nor is it about beauty. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on video presenting. Now, I've sort of based that on my 20 years uh, experience working in the television industry. I also had a company in Australia called KLM Academy, and we specialized in training. I ran a number of different courses, and they were quite diverse. They ranged from uh, personal development training, corporate grooming, professional model training, public speaking, uh, right through to television presenter training. Now the television presenter training course was a 10 week course. So I can't condense that into a 10 minute video. But what I have done based on my knowledge, I've created some really simple points um, around four main areas. And they are background preparation, positioning, you'll understand that when you watch the video, uh, lighting and delivery. Now I hope you can walk away after watching this video and walk away with at least one new tip. And if you do, I have done my job. So the first point is preparation. Prepare the environment to create the credibility that you want. This, you can see behind me, it's way too busy. As I'm talking to you now, you're probably looking at, look, trying to look at the painting, what's on her walls, what's, oh, what's that? Oh, that's nice, that's not nice. It's too busy, which takes away from what I'm trying to deliver, what I'm trying to teach. So keep it simple, don't have a busy background. Move ornaments, move pictures. If you have the facility for this, you can hang something up behind you and have a total backdrop. I'm gonna show you the difference from talking here to something really simple, quite bland, but I become the focus and what I'm delivering is being absorbed. This sort of environment is ideal for pre-recorded videos, I'll talk more about that. Um, and especially for a younger audience because there's no distractions. This is not ideal for large dynamic video calls because uh, it's a little bit too sterile. Create the background that suits your industry. And also with your presentation as far as what you're wearing, it's COVID-19, everybody is in the same boat. You're not going to turn up in a suit and tie because it's just disingenuous. Keep it real, keep it genuine. A couple of other tips while I have your attention, because you're not focused on anything in the background, that I would like to share with you about background preparation is creating the environment. One which is really important is check all um, external noises. I just had to go and bang on the window and shush my children because I'm not mic'd, you can hear the noise, I'm shooting on my own. So be aware of what's going on around you. Okay, I just wanna grab something because I want to share with you what we do in our household. Whether I'm filming or my husband's on a video call, we have the centipede. The centipede goes on the door and it means do not come in, do not disturb. And that's important because if my husband's on a call with 50 people on a video conference call uh, and one of the children walk in and go, can you help me with science? Not only does it disrupt the meeting, it disrupts the flow of the meeting and his credibility. So prepare all external noises, be ready, make sure you're not interrupted. A few etiquette tips, if you're the host, you cannot turn your video off. If you are not the host and you are one of many and you need to step away from a meeting, make sure you put your video, turn your video off. Because the minute you stand up and walk away, they're going to see what's on the bottom half. And most people right now are focusing on the top half and not the bottom half. And again, you can lose your credibility. One funny story I wanna share with you is uh, about my girlfriend, well not her, her husband. <laughs> Uh, they live in America and she was on a conference call, a Zoom call, with I think there was about 10 other people on the call and her eldest son was in the kitchen and the phone rang and it was uh, a business call, call, a phone call, for their dad. And he starts yelling out, dad, dad, dad. Dad was in the shower but knew that call was important. And he got out of the shower, jumped out of the shower and he ran to the kitchen. But who did he have to run behind? his wife on the computer. <laughs> there you go, naked, streaker. <laughs> That's my husband. I think it was so quick they didn't quite pick it up, but it's, we wanna to try to avoid those sort of situations. It's a good one for at a dinner party. You know who you are. <laughs> Another etiquette tip for you is check your Wi-Fi, check your connectivity. There is a website that can test that for you. If you'd like more information, just make a, a comment below. The other thing is hand gestures. Because you might be using your hands, but 
we don't see them. If you're doing a lot of this or that or doing it lower and moving around and quite often uh, they're out of shot. So in frame, out of frame, know where you are shooting from. That's really important. The positioning of your computer or camera is really important. You need your eyes to be eye level or above, not below. I see a lot of this being filmed and it's either um, we're talking to the forehead or looking down or you've come up on the screen and you're focusing on yourself on the screen and that does that. So elevate your computer. You can use a shoebox, you can use a bunch of books, you can use, find whatever, you can use a pot pan. <laughs> Be creative. Get your computer at least at eye level. I would go higher. Even when you do this, you can pull your screen forward. My eyes are here and I feel like the computer camera is about here. So I've got another two books. Simply put the books underneath. That feels more comfortable because if I was talking to someone on a day-to-day -day basis, I would be looking them in the eyes. I would not be looking at their chest or at their feet. Lighting is so important and it can be a huge distraction when you can't see a person's face clearly. Natural lighting is always going to be the best light and it's free. If possible, turn your desk towards the light so it shines on you rather than from behind you. If you don't have a great deal of natural light or have to film in the evenings, here are some lights from Amazon that I recommend. This is the small LED ring light. This is great as it clips onto most surfaces with a lip. It plugs into my computer and it has three light settings. This is the larger LED ring light. This one is slightly bigger. It sits on a small tripod. It also has three light settings and it gives broader and softer light. The downside is it lacks um, a lot of flexibility when it comes to positioning. These are professional lights. They are heavier to transport, but if you are only working from home, it's worth the investment. You have much more control over the lighting, positioning, and overall, it looks more professional. If you don't want to invest in any lighting, simply use the torch feature on your phone. Another option is to find a portable lamp in the house. Put this behind your computer to light your face. Another trick is to make sure the brightness is up on your computer so the light reflects onto your face when speaking. My final point is delivery. Now this is probably the hardest uh, for anyone that hasn't worked in front of the camera before, but it's something that can be taught and it's something that you can do and you can do it well. First of all, it's practice, 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 practice. If you don't wanna record on your computer, get your phone out, flip the camera, and start getting used to talking on camera. Look and learn, look how it looks, look how it looks when your eyes are down here, when your eyes are off here. If you wonder if you're looking up too much or you look down, you look up, silly face, look down, no face. One of your best critics in the world will be a mirror. Go into the bathroom, go into or have a mirror close by and then start rehearsing. You know this, you did it every day before the world changed and now you're doing exactly what you used to do, but in front of a camera in a home environment. And it's daunting. So get in front of the mirror and talk to yourself. Talk to yourself, talk through what you're doing, have a look at your expression, find your passion, make sure you're excited about what you're meant to be excited for. And this is probably one of the biggest tips I can give you. And that is smile. A smile says confidence. A smile is also welcoming. A smile can disguise your nerves. Now, it doesn't mean the whole time you're talking is you're like this, because that's not realistic. A soft smile on your face, a kindness in your heart, and let that be projected on screen. Have a mirror nearby. Why this is important, get used to these two words, mirror check. Just before you, you've been brushing around, you might be with the children, you might have um, had dinner. Before you start recording, please look in the mirror, have a quick mirror check. Make sure you haven't got food on your face, your hair's not sticking up out of place, uh, your clothes are adjusted correctly, you've got nothing in your teeth. Ladies, check your makeup. Make sure that you haven't got black down here from your mascara because that is not very flattering on camera. If you have a script that you have to stick to, and I'm talking whether that's a business pitch whether that's a lesson plan. If you've had to script something, please break that down into bullet points. 
Everything I have spoken about today has been scripted. Scripted, noted, made into bullet points. My job is to make it conversational and make it engaging, because I don't want to lose you. Are you still there? Don't you go anywhere. Let's talk about delivery, I mean, your voice. You know, some people don't like how they look on camera, some people don't like how they sound on camera, and then all of a sudden you are on camera, and you're looking at yourself all day. The sound of your voice is your voice. It makes you who you are and you are unique. But be aware of pace, of your pace. You don't want to be talking 100 miles an hour and talking about what I've got to do and then you say, because you'll just lose, lose, lose your audience. Make sure you articulate, make sure you don't talk too quickly, but also don't over-exaggerate talking slow or talking in a voice that's not yours. Please be natural. You go and you turn to your partner, your wife, your children, whoever it is, turn to them and go, can I, can you pass me the water please? And then quite often what happens on camera, can you pass me the water? You don't speak like that. People get in front of a camera and they think that maybe they should be someone that they're not. No, be you. So let me talk about the difference between pre-recording and doing a live video. A live video, please, please set your computer up high. So whoever you are talking to, your eyes are at their eye level. When it's live, you look at the people you are talking to. If you've raised your computer, it's going to make you a lot more approachable. When you lose the eye contact, you lose your audience. If you have more than two, three, four people and you're talking to a number of people, keeping it at eye level and have your gallery view, the video images are at the top. So again, you're keeping your eyes up, not down. Don't have it down in the corner. You can move the gallery view to wherever you want. Always keep it up, keep the eyes up. Let's talk about pre-recording videos. Please, please, any pre-recorded videos, look directly down the camera on your computer and get used to that and not at yourself. Usually yourself is in the corner down here and this is the delivery we get and you can tell you're looking at yourself and you're not looking at us. Here, you are talking directly to your audience. I did want to share this with you because I don't think a lot of people know this one. One of the main platforms used in my household, I have three children, is Zoom. And I have found a little feature on there, which I'm not sure if you're aware of it. If you're not, then you need to be. It's just a great one if you do not have access to any lighting and it just softens your appearance. And this is how you find it. So those are my tips and tricks on video presenting for beginners in a virtual world. If you would like me to expand on any of those points, please just leave me a comment uh, in the comments below. And if you know of anyone that might benefit from this video, please share it, whether they're transitioning from, a, from the real world into a virtual world or just restructuring their business to, to move online. I make lots of other videos, so if you'd like to be notified when a new video comes in, just click on the notification bell and please subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Because I'm talking about preparation, background preparation and external noises and influences uh, like that. Mirror check. Okay, mirror. All good? Let's do it. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to my... <laughs> Off to a great start. And if you do, I have done my job. Let's do it all in one, girl. Woo! I need some tequila.